Hi guys, Lewis here. Welcome to this week's edition of Piranha Bites. So as always, I'll lead with the first two that I've read and really, well, normally enjoyed. So, first one's a new boom, number one, Eat the Rich. Um, I was quite excited for this, um, in a weird way, mainly because I haven't heard of the creators. And I always like to give new guys a chance. And yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, misleading from the title so far. Uh, basically what happens is um, you're following this girl and she's um, with her boyfriend who's from a really rich affluent family. She's meeting the parents for the first time. All that sort of stuff. All very sitcom-y stuff actually. And then when she comes, obviously she's very uneasy. She doesn't fit in. And then she's warned about talking to the help and stuff like that. Turns out they're murdering them. Um, and that's all we know so far. Um, I'm hoping for a role reversal because I felt sorry for the guy that got butchered on the beach. But uh, there you go. And then uh, the next one I read because obviously I couldn't help myself. Moon Knight issue two. Um, I was really tempted to read Nightwing in preparation for this, but now I've gone about that too much. So I'll use uh, Moon Knight as the one I go on about too much for the next couple of issues that it's out. Um, really good, really nice continuation from the first one. Uh, they've not really directly picked up on the um, left fist of Conchu thing. Um, but they did really delve into how mental the guy is, and as in Moon Knight himself. And I love that because that's what makes him um, stand out amongst other superheroes or anti-heroes, if you call them or whatever. The darker, edgier characters. Uh, yeah, he pretty much messes up a dude by just letting him delve into his mind. And the guy's kind of catatonic afterwards. It was really cool. Um, like in the art, um, Jed McKay is going really up in my estima estimations and I really want to check out that Daredevil thing that he did. But I keep on saying I should do, but I get distracted by other comics because there's too much to read. So, I blame comics. Um, a trade that was out this week that I'd really like to highlight because this has been one of my favourites since it came out as issue one. Radiant Black. Now, I've already been getting the issues anyway, but I bought the trade as well because... The printing's so nice. Uh, and also, I, I really like to support Kyle Higgins. I think he's one of the most underrated writers in comics. And I remember when this first came out, I read a review on it that basically described it as a cross of um, Invincible and Power Rangers. I thought, yep, yeah, that's that's it. That's got exactly what that book's about. Uh, and I'm sure it's no coincidence because Kyle Higgins wrote the um, earlier Boom Power Rangers stuff anyway and did a hell of a job on that. So Radiant Black, check it out. Um, then for the other stuff that I've not gone around to reading yet, looks pretty cool trial of magneto so having read the original one which was like uncanny x-men 200 from back in the day i hope this one is actually a trial uh because the original while well, obviously te technically there was a trial in it there was too much messing around with like teams and other other guys in the background fighting i really didn't care about I wanted to get to the crux of what was going on so i hope this delivers um that may have been blasphemy for some so i do apologize uh, Sinister War issue 3 uh, Nick Spencer's Spider-Man runs coming to an end real soon so for those of you that have been enjoying it get the most of it while you can because it'll be gone real soon and then, that's sad as well because I think Spencer's been a good writer for Spider-Man rejuvenated it and made it easy to follow more than anything because uh, 8 or 9 years of slot wasn't easy um, good and or bad depending on which era you were following or picking up from but yeah needed a change uh, new image number 1 Second Chances, um, obviously these are the ones I've not had a chance to check out yet, but the cover looks really nice, and similar to what I was just saying about Eat the Rich as well, not heard of the creators, so we're really willing to give them a chance, the art inside looks really good as well, let's take a look at that opening page there, um, so yeah, uh, looks interesting, I'm sure I'll read that in the coming days. Um, for those of you that want to get a head start on um, what's going to be going on in the MCU, Kang the Conqueror. Um, highly rumoured he's going to be the next big bad after Thanos so yeah if you want to get in on that check that out at long last after being delayed about maybe half a dozen times Batman Catwoman issue 6 um, I've not been keeping on top of this because it's been taking so long but what I was reading I was enjoying uh, and I'm a massive fan of Tom King's Batman run I think him and Morrison are basically the only guys that have been after Miller to not just carry on doing Miller Batman. Uh, so I really credit him with being original and bringing something new to the character. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this being finished. Um, but it's been delayed so long now that the Christmas special that was originally going to come out last Christmas, then got delayed till August, is now coming out 
this Christmas, apparently. I don't believe them. But I'm a massive fan of Tom King, so I'm more than willing to put up with all those weights. I mean, for God's sake, I've read Superman Unchained in issues, and that was three to four months per issue. It was worth it, so I didn't mind. Um, but sticking on Tom King, I'll use him to pick out my golden oldie or from the vault pick. Sheriff of Babylon. Um, really good. This is like around the time he was first becoming like a real hot property in comics. And this was all about um, his time in the CIA over at Iraq. And um, really dark, slow brooding story. And he pulls a lot of devices in there that you'll find familiar in his work if you've read other stuff like Mr. Miracle, um, Vision, even his current thing, Strange Adventures. Um, stuff like that, so um, really worth a check out if you're a Tom King fan, because I enjoyed it. It got me through a uh, very, very frustrating traffic jam on the bus uh, a few years ago now. And finally, this is a one-shot, which we don't get often in comics anymore, God Tremors. It's on Aftershock, and it's Peter Milligan, who I'm a massive fan of. I uh, often joke he's like the uh, you know, distant cousin twice removed of the Vertigo British Invasion lot because everyone remembers more, everyone remembers Gaiman, Morris and all those guys but people forget about Peter Milligan and he's really good and in fact, um, coincidence this came out this week because I've been reading um, Shade the Changing Man which if you've not checked out is also another recommendation from me because that's awesome um, yeah, apart from that, for a complete list of everything else that's out check out Dave's newsletter that will be out later today and I will see you same time next week Corona, white, white Piranha. 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 Piranha.